happy Friday evening to all of my followers. Well, I wouldn't like to say followers. All of my subbies. How about that? That's more a family life. To all my subby families. My wonderful gifts of gabs. Thank you for coming to the channel, Deb Chanel's 40s World, where I am the host of this show. I will be your correspondent. I am all over social media, every type of platform. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. And I'm on Instagram. However, I like to stay here on YouTube so you can find me at one place. All right? That's just how I get down. And that's where you need to find me. But news, entertainment news, informative news, but just anything I want to talk about that's happening out there in today's society. But this story was broke about this lady and this airport or this airline not permitting her to dress accordingly how she was until she dressed how they wanted her to be. OK, very odd story. Story was broken in breaking news time three days ago. But I'm just catching up. I had other stories I was more interested in. And I thought I would save it. But I still wanted to have my spin, my say, my opinion on this topic. Yes, child. The New York Times of all people, all places, all journalistic type of viewing came from the New York Times. And them heavy hitters right there, okay? Heavy hitters. But other people brought the story as well. Local uh, news here in Atlanta. AJC brought it to fruition as well. OK Magazine and a whole lot of other hosts of entertainment, gossip commentary, and informative breaking news segments. All right. But I just wanted to say, give kudos to New York Times. They brought the story on this physician, y'all, this Dr. Tisha Rowe. Okay, she's just trying to get her flying time on up in the friendly skies, up there where the Lord made it so heavenly to be, and to see the sights above the clouds. Okay, do you get me? Okay. But anyway, I don't think this lady thought she would be going through all this mess when she woke up that morning trying to come home from a trip that she was vacationing with her son, and... They had to go through the drama field situation that they had to go through. And what I'm talking about, we're going to break the topic. We're going to break it wide open and start talking about it. Have our little discussion on how I get down. All right. We're going to go into commentary that they wrote in this news article. And then we're just going to do my sidebars. Because that's the only way I can see I can do this particular story. Because I didn't want to read it. It was kind of too long. And then have to reread it to you all and let's, let us make some sense out of it. Make it make sense because it don't. In this day and time, this age, are we still relying on just my opinion, racism? Okay? Because the lady, and what I'm picturing, and what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, or what she posted on her Twitter account, her Instagram account, she was fully dressed. Okay? There was nothing provocative about it. There was no overflow showing. You know, nice uh, size woman. Not real heavy, huge. And she coming out there with a romper on. You know, just making you go, how did she get in that suit? Why is she in that suit? Lord, make it make sense. Okay, take this vision away from my outside. Okay? It was nothing distasteful. Nothing displeasing. For them to say, cover up, honey, cover up. I mean, she ain't had no little big old breasts that you just want to just juggle with. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't none of that going on. Wasn't no big assets on the back burner, if you give me a drill. Nothing going on there. So I really don't know what's going on. I think it's more to the story than they let know. Because the proof is not in the pudding. It's not adding up. I'm still getting a negative vibe from this. Okay. But it couldn't be me, okay? I would not have been online tweeting or anything. I've been calling the police. I've been calling the lawyers. I've been calling uh, just defamation of my character. I've been insulted. Child. And I got high blood pressure. I probably would have fainted for their behinds. All right? But it would just have been a totally different situation. I would just have everything intact. And I would have had this situation settled 
after the fact. Okay, then I would have went public with it, just spraying out all kinds of news, doing interviews and everything, getting my coin. Because that's the only way you can sit here and embarrass these folks. Hit them where it hurts. And that's the almighty dollar. Because that's the only thing people seem like they care about these days. Power, money, and position. Can we say it again? Power, money, and position. Okay? That's all. That's all we got going on in our society today. Those that lead can be very corrupt. Don't have no morals about themselves. Don't care nothing about no one but themselves and their family. And then when they really get real, they don't care about themselves. Forget their family. You know what I'm saying? That is what I am seeing today that's happening in society. We got to do better. We know better. Why aren't we doing better? Okay? So we're going to get on into this situation. We're going to have a little discussion about it. We're going to give you my sidebar intended. Okay? It says, Woman required to cover up on American Airlines flight says race was a factor. Well, you don't say. You don't say. Okay, that's my pun intended. It's a doctor. Now, see, this lady was a doctor. You didn't never know. She didn't publicize it. She didn't have no name tag saying, I am a physician of this, that, and the third. Okay, come see me. She wasn't passing out no flyers, no business cards, none of that. All right, but this woman was mentally and emotionally attacked all right let's just start with the facts anyway we're going back to the article it says dr tisha Rowe was about to fly from jamaica to miami when a flight attendant briefly removed her from the plane because of her romper she said okay was the romper traveling up her butt crack i mean was it too much from the front because the visual that i'm getting she was a nicely shaped woman the outfit fitted appropriately and we're giving too much power to these flight attendants, okay? I mean, was the flight attendant jealous? I don't know. What's going on with that? They should have had the pilot come and review the situation. Because it really shouldn't have been a situation. All right? Oh, anyway. Moving back to the article. We go on. It, under the picture that they're giving us to preview of her entire outfit, which was, like, like I said, very appropriate. Especially for traveling. And it's hot, too. We talking about July. Well, we ain't got into August. Okay? And the places she was going to and fro, to and fro are hot. They're hot areas of vacationing. Okay? Whew. Anyway, under the picture it says, Dr. Tisha Rose shared the selfie of the outfit she was wearing when she was asked to get off her June 30th flight. Okay? This article is written by Neil... Vigdor, okay, it was written on July 10th. Like I said, I'm, I'm I'm behind, I'm behind, okay, by three days. But it is what it is. It's still fresh out there on people's minds. And plus, you don't have my spin, my take, my opinion on it, okay? That's why I'm giving it to you. That's why you had to wait. How they say, wait for the best? The best is always saved for the last. Okay, moving on. <sighs> the article writes or reads, a Texas doctor says her race was a factor when she was briefly removed from a recent American Airlines flight and required to cover herself with a blanket before being allowed back on the plane. Dr. Tisha Rowe, who identifies as African American and Caribbean American, posted a widely shared tweet about the episode, including a selfie of the romper she was wearing on the June 30th flight from Jamaica to Miami. Okay. Two, not one, two hot places, okay? Dr. Rowe, 37, is a family physician in Houston and founded a telemedicine company in 2014. See, the lady's smart, very smart and intelligent, well-rounded individual, okay? And then she's an entrepreneur at that. They better recognize, okay? They better recognize. That's my pun intended. Nothing it covers that in this article. Okay, going back to the article, it says she said Tuesday that she was humiliated in front of her eight-year-old son who had been traveling with her. Now, see, humiliated, frustrated, painstakingly embarrassed, and the son probably trying to figure out why they was escorting her mama off the plane. Okay, what, what were they doing? Traumatizing. 
Remember that, okay, when you get your case. Because I know you're going to get one, girl. I know you're going to get one. They don't call the case, okay? And you're just catching them up on what you want <laughs> in the settlement agreement. All right? Have a plane in your backyard, okay? Have a jet out there where you just ride private, your own private jet, okay? Or better yet, have free flights with your customized seat for you and your son, Anywhere you want to go in the 52 states or play, maybe you want to go out the country, okay? This will be a benefit for you and your son for the rest of your remaining, li remaining life you have on this earth, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Ain't no sense of boy kind of Air American Airlines. Ain't no sense of doing it because people ain't going to listen to you. They still going to look for that best deal. And if they having the best deal, they're going to board. So you might well just say, okay, yes, but no, you can't sit there. That's only for the queen and the, and, the, and the king, okay, or the queen and the prince. No, you can just view it. We can leave it there as a tourist attraction of what not to do in the handbook of asking people to depart from the plane because of whatever going on. As silly as this was, I would have my own seat. And that would be in first class, okay? Not where probably I was coach or maybe lesser than that. All right, now it would be up there by the pilot so I can make sure he's doing his due diligence with driving that plane that I'm on, okay? Because we don't want no infractions going on. We don't want me going up in the air and coming down very quickly, okay? Because they don't want to pay me the remainder of my life for free flights, okay? And that's in the time that I want to go anywhere, all right? No matter what cost it is. That's how I would be rolling or try to roll on this situation. Okay? All right. It's better than a big, huge, huge, huge lawsuit. Okay? Not asking for much. Just I want to travel, me and my son, if I choose to, on vacation. If I want to travel with America Allies for three times out the year, then, yeah, that's what we're going to do, round trip. All right? And it's going to be first class service. All right? With my favorite beverage that you might have to get. Every time I'm notified that I'm coming to the plane, no exceptions, because fair play, turnabout, fair game. That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. You do me wrong, you got to pay the price. You got to pay to make me happy. Because you can never take back that day. You can never take back that humiliation. You can never take back that disgrace of what y'all put me through. Okay. So we moving on. That was my pun and ten. I had to get it in there. Y'all know how I go. Y'all know how I go with my videos. All right. So we're moving back to where it says her flight. No, where she her her son felt humiliated. Okay. So we go back. It said, had they seen that same issue in a woman who was not a woman of color, they would not have felt empowered to take me off the plane. Dr. Rose said in pop culture, especially black women with a body like mine. That's right. Toot your own hon, girl. Because, yes, you looking good. You are looking good. You don't took care of your body. Yes. Flaunt it. Cover it up appropriately, appropriately like you have done. And you in good graces. You in good graces. All right. They just wanted to try you that day. And you want no pump. They thought they were dealing with a pump. They didn't know you were educated either. They didn't know. They didn't know. They don't take us serious sometimes. They don't. Sometimes you have to just pull that card on them. Pull the card. Okay, my pun attendant, not in that article, okay? It just goes back to say in pop culture, especially black women with a body like mine, they're often portrayed as video vixens. So I've had to deal with those stereotypes my whole life. Now, just a sidebar. From the picture that you're giving me now, come on now. <laughs> I think we're embellishing a little bit. You good and all like that, but you ain't no cocoa bottle running around now. So I'm just saying, Miss uh, Tisha Rowe, Dr. Tisha Rowe, uh, let's keep it let's keep it concrete okay because we're dealing with facts here okay facts all right moving back on american airlines apologized and agreed to issue a refund to dr Rowe, according to shannon gilson a spokeswoman i guess for american airlines okay we were concerned about dr rose comments and reached out to her and our team at the kingston airport to gather more information about what occurred Ms. Gleason said, we apologize to Dr. Rowe and her son for their experience and have fully refunded their travel. We are proud to serve customers of all backgrounds. Okay, that's what 
they give they just that's giving you that that that's a sad story right there. They, they just wouldn't give you a sad story like we ain't infringing on nobody's rights and responsibilities or race and you know we ain't discriminate on any creed, color, origin, sexual or gender or anything like that. No, I'm pre you pretty much did that already. Okay, you pretty much did that already. We're past that point. It's 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 above me now. <laughs> Is that culturally appropriate now? The saying now, we just washed your hands of the situation. You just don't gave it up to the Lord. It's above me now. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, moving back to the article. It says American Airlines has grappled with discrimination and co complaints before. See, that's what I'm saying. The skeletons are falling out the closet. We need to get a halt to this airline and make them pay. Okay. Pay, pay, pay. And I'm talking about an old mighty dollar, okay? But love of money, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Because that's all the way they, they hear you is when you hit them and they go in the red. And that's negative as far as finances. They, they're not going to like it. The stockholders are not going to like it. And they're going to see what they're going to try to do to repair it. Well, ain't no repairing because it got in the news. She reported it. Now you're going to have to pay pretty much, Okay. You played, you uh crapped out, now you gotta pay. All right. Uh then it goes back to the article it says in 2017, the Dublin uh NAACP took the unusual steps of issuing a national travel advisory for the airline, warning that black travelers could be subjected to discriminatory or disrespectful treatment. The group cited a series of episodes of black passengers being removed from flights, a bump from first class. Last July, the NAACP lifted the travel advisory after the airline agreed to training for its 130,000 employees, as well as the adoption of new discrimination complaint resolution processes. Uh, American Airlines also agreed to do an inclusion gap and diversity analyst of the company. The airline said Tuesday it was planning to hire a chief inclusion and diversity officer and establish an office for diversity equity and inclusion based on our engagement with the company they have begun to make progress Derek johnson president and chief executive of the nwacp said tuesday of the airline's past efforts mr johnson said the double uh the nwacp wanted to get all the facts about what happened to dr Rowe. we are going to monitor to see the airline's response mr johnson said okay but my whole thing with this Forget the WNACP, all right? You can have them in the background when you go do other litigation against this company. However, we as black people, white people, Asian, Indian, Eskimo, am I forgetting somebody out there? That's a Native American or I say Indian. I, I meant to say Native American, okay? We got to stop letting people put it as a right to discriminate because of the majority, culture that's supposed to be in leading into society. We got to look at each person that bleeds red blood as human beings. We don't need to look at color. We don't need to look at the culture. We just need to know what's right and what's wrong. And the only thing people care about now, I said, power, money, and position. When you are in those realm of thinking or in that realm of thinking, you got to think about where you can hit them that's going to hurt and it's going to last and they're going to always think about that situation. That's in the pockets, people. In the pocket. If they're not treating you right, don't, don't go on the airline. If you do go on the airline and you experience this treatment, seek litigation, okay? Point, period, and blank. If they start, if they continue to get hit with lawsuits of different Errors where they've caused infractions to people of color or just any nationality, period. You must pay. You pay the same price for a ticket, right? When they're asking for $1,000 to ride in first class, you got to cough up that money, right? When you have buying a ticket for coach, it still costs a pretty uh, piece of change. You know what I'm saying? You got to cough up that price. They ain't saying, oh, because you're this color, I'm going to give you a 10% discount. Or you're old, I'm going to give you an uh, elderly, you go, I'm going to give you a 10% discount like they do in a grocery store or whatever uh, with the seniors, the elder community. You know what I mean? They don't do that. So 
we need to think conscious, all right? Too many lawyers out here, too many, too many injustices are done to people. So the only way you know they're going to learn from this situation is when you start hitting them in that pocket, okay? Where the money reigns supreme, okay? And let's go back. Let's go back here. She goes into a little depth. I guess, giving the uh, uh, journalists a little bit more to ponder about because she's giving them a play-by-play -play of what actually happened to her. And I'm talking about Dr. Rowe. Okay, it said the day of the encounter, June 30th, was a hot one. The temperature in Kingston, Jamaica, had a high of 94 degrees and the high, and the high in Miami was 89 degrees, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Now, whatever... So they're trying to say the heat had people acting out of order, out of their normal demeanor. That's what they're trying to say the heat. What well, he can do that, <laughs> especially if you stuck up here in traffic in ATA and you ain't got no air conditioning <coughs> in your car. Or you might have air conditioning in your car, but people just, you know, just out there giving you the blues because you're ready to go home from work or you're trying to get to work. Either way, money through sight and traffic is horrendous up here. Okay. But it seems like they're trying to put that as a, 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 you know, a staple of what could happen. But let's continue reading. Let's continue reading, okay, for our edification. We got Dr. Rose says she was walking to her seat when a male flight attendant, whom she described as black, asked her to return to the front of the plane. Another flight attendant, who was also black, then spoke to her about her appearance. While she stood on the jet bridge, Dr. Rose said, she poses the question to me, do you have a jacket, Dr. Rose said. I said, no, I do not. I've been given no explanation as to why I was taken off the plane. So finally, she says, you're not boarding a plane dressed like that. Then they started to give me a lecture about how, and, and, wait a minute, about how when I got on the plane, I better not make a scene or be loud. What? The airline condition of carriage which are posted on his website, make a brief reference to a dress code. Dress appropriately, bare feet or offensive clothing aren't allowed. <coughs> Dr. Rose said her son was in tears when they reached their seats and used one of the blankets given to her to cover his head. Since her first social media post about the episode, Dr. Rose said she had received photos from many other women or more revealing outfits they had worn on flights. We are police for being black, Dr. Rose Posted on Facebook during the flight, I've seen white women with much shorter shorts board a plane without a blink of an eye. I guess it's as nice as versus a Serena booty. It's okay. In 2017, United Airlines also faced criticism for barring two teenage girls from boarding a flight because of the leggings they were wearing. Dr. Rose lawyer, Jeffrey Berg, said she was considering litigation against the American Airlines. They wanted credit for the apology and said, this is not how we want our airline portrayed, which tells me they are prioritizing their image above their actions, Mr. Bird said. Okay, so she is doing the right thing. She got some litigation going on. But, you know, hey, I was surprised because I thought it was a white on black thing. But, you know, it's still a sad day when black people profile black people as well and it's a sad thing they do it in the community they, they sure do I, I, you know, I ain't been witness to it but I can tell a certain way you dress a certain way you look a certain way you talk you may be very you know loud when you're talk, <clears throat> talking but that just may be you uh, an environment that you always are in and you pretty much portray that everywhere you go <clears throat> you do have some uppity black people. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Who tend to look at the Caucasian way of living, the European way of living, and inflicting it back on their black community. So, yes, yes, yes. Nene Leaks, are you listening? Okay. Oprah Winfrey, are you listening? <coughs> so, yes. You still got to go. Still got to go down. You did an infringement, and you know, like I said, I don't know what they're doing over there in Kingston, Jamaica. You know how they're looking at their own kind and treating them, this, that, and the third. But it ain't right. It ain't right on nobody's level. Like I said initially, before I even knew what she was saying of who approached her and what ethnicity they were or what color they were or race. You see what I'm saying? It's still the same thing. 
If you discriminate, you discriminate. It don't matter. It don't matter. Not in my eyes. So, that teaches us something. Okay? Stop being mean to folks. Stop degrading them when you feel like you want to degrade them because you got the power to say or you think you have the power. It's an illusion. Because they probably don't have no jobs right now. They probably don't. Don't have no jobs. You know? And then again, maybe they do. Maybe they just put them to another airline or another, uh, still American airline, but another territory, I should say. But it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. This story is a hot mess. In this day and age, we still discriminate. We still racial profile. And it's sad when you do it amongst your own kind. Okay? And I'm not saying that it just happened in the black race. It happened in the Caucasian uh, race as well. And the Native American and Asian. It's a shame that we treat, it just goes back to saying, treat people how you want to be treated. Love your neighbor. Love your enemies. Because we're all human. Okay? We all believe red blood. We sure do. You know what I'm saying? For the ones that ble <coughs> bleeding green blood, some other kind of color blood, then that's when we need to worry. Okay? Because there's another species on the rise that they ain't told us about. Okay? So I'm just saying, be nice to one another. Nice educating story for most that don't know or just not aware they're just living in a bubble but be nice and dr tisha Rowe, do what you gotta do babe do what you gotta do like i said i already told you to line it up what you should get out of the situation okay because you're not gonna change some people some people just just downright ugly some people are just downright mean some people just downright evil and that's just who they are. They're not going to change. And you can't make them change. You got to pray for them and, and keep it moving. Okay? All right? Lord say love your neighbor. He say oh, sit up there and, and break bread with them. You know what I'm saying? Love them from a distance. And I'm talking about a far distance. Have your peace. Protect your peace. Because if you ain't got peace, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got love in your heart for everybody. You ain't got nothing. You just a person existing and a body that's a vessel, that's a shell of a vessel that a spirit is roaming in. You see what I'm saying? I might be going a little too deep for you all, but those who hear, hear. Those who see, see. Educate yourselves. All right. But I'll be back for another video, a couple of more videos tonight, because I don't have to work tomorrow. For those who do have to work tomorrow, save my video, you know, <laughs> until tomorrow night when you can enjoy it. Because it's, it's running in 30 minutes long. I didn't mean to go this far with it because like, the story was kind of lengthy. But I want to give you what they said, what I felt, and what we should do about the situation. And for y'all to chime in too as well. Okay, because everybody got a pain. Everybody got a pain. Just like everybody got a mouth. You know what I'm saying? Just depending on what you let come out of it that displays what type of person you are. Okay? But anyway, peace and blessings to you all. I will be back for another video shortly. And please, if you haven't, subscribe. Share my videos, like my videos, and comment because I love them all. The ones that say, you know, this, that, and the third. Some of them that say hate or send hateful messages. And the ones that's like, hi, hi, you did that. Okay? Love them all because everybody has an opinion and I have to respect it. I'm on a platform. You see me sometimes, sometimes you don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. All right? But peace and blessings to you all. We'll talk to you soon for another video. Good night.